So, hello everybody. This is a Tomato. It's just me. Um, Poe is at work right now. <clears throat> and uh, this video is actually um, just very impromptu. I don't really know what to say, so let's just get on to it. I would, I would like to uh, look at the, the North American 3DS Virtual Console list and then also the Japanese one. I quickly looked at them the other night while looking for some uh, quick games I could play before I go to bed. And I found that there's many more on the Japanese one, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to take a look and uh, share that with everyone. So let's start with, this is the North American one. Check out the eShop and go to uh, the virtual console list. And it's no secret that the Japanese virtual console is much more, uh, has many more games and maybe even more systems, I'm not sure. But we'll find out now. And lately we haven't been streaming very much. I got, or Poe got sick for a full week, then I got sick for a full week, and then uh, we recently got two kittens, and now we have we have no time to time to stream. They're trying to bite all the wires all the time. They're trying to wreck our house all the time. Hopefully they'll calm down and start streaming some more in the future. Okay, so here is the North American um, let's see, here's Virtual Console. I don't know what I'm looking for lately, but I've been looking for just some kind of retro game that I could play. Um, just like a little bit before bed every night. And I've been uh, missing playing little retro games. So, let's see, we got Mario 3, Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers, Zelda, Pokemon trading, trading card game, Oracle Seasons, I'll probably play that sometime, but probably on stream. Mario 2, Oracle of Ages, uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. I, I never owned that, but I've played it before. It was a lot of fun. It's a really good uh, version of Mario Super Mario Brothers. Adventure of Link, Punch Out. So I guess all these like super classics, like top of the line classics, are in here. Got your Metroid, Donkey Kong Land. I never played that. Pokemon Puzzle Challenge. I don't know anything about Pokemon stuff at all, really. So I guess that that looked like a uh, like Tetris Attack sort of game. Donkey Kong. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That's a weird looking Mario. Why is he in there? He doesn't look like that in there. Huh. Mega Man 2? Well, Mega Man doesn't look like that either, so I guess that fits. Kirby's Dream Land 2? I've always meant to get into the Kirby games. I never know how to pronounce that. But that's cool. Her Game Boy Color game, I think that was her first one. Uh, Castlevania. Mega Man. I wonder what the ports are like. Wario Land. I, I bought this one, yeah. I'm finishing up Mario Land 2, which is one of my most favorite games of all time. And I was like, you know what, I want to continue with the Mario Land game, so here's another one, Mar Wario Land. It's quite a bit different. Galaga. My, my rule is that an arcade is not an arcade unless it has a Galaga machine. Oh, here's Game Gear, Sonic the Hedgehog. Pac-Man, Wario Land 3. I guess there's a, a second one somewhere. It looks like there's what? Five pages, okay. So there's five pages. Mm -hmm. See, it's going to be Mega Man Extreme 2. That's in the era of when everything was extreme and they would spell it funny like that. I wonder what Mega Man Extreme 2 is. It's for Game Boy Color. What is... Oh, it must be Mega Man X something. What is this? Oh, okay, yeah, it looks like an X game. Must be a Game Boy Color thingy. Okay, I never had a Game Boy Color, but I bought them for presents for friends and family back in the day. They were really hard to find when they were coming out, too. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for Game Gear. I had a good friend who had a Game Gear, and those things just ate batteries. Okay, Mario Brothers, the original one. Harvest Moon 3 for Game Boy Color. I played the first one for Super NES, and that was a lot of fun. Donkey Kong Land 2. Mega Man 6, Super C. Super C is really good. Mario Tennis. Whoa, that's not gonna hit anything. Like it's gonna go right through the racket there. Shining Forest. That's like I wanna get some um, some good uh, strategy RPGs, so that might be something good. Tech Mobile. Royal Land 2, oh there we go. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse. I assume this is the English one. Game and Watch Gallery 3. I wouldn't be very entertained by that, probably. Mega Man 3. Mega Man looks weird on this one, too. 
Mega Man Extreme. Mega Man 2. I always wanted to try these Game Boy ones, but I don't know how they would work because the Game Boy screen was so tiny that I didn't, I didn't think it would look very good. Ninja Gaiden for NES. Harvest Moon for Game Boy Color. Castlevania 2. Dig Dug. Mega Man 5. Donkey Kong Land 3. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. River City Ransom. So, so far, most of these are like really big, um, big name games or big series. And there seem to be a lot of Nintendos and a lot of Capcoms and a lot of Segas. We got a Sonic Blast here. Oh, he looks a little, little derpy there. Ghosts and Goblins. Oh boy. Donkey Kong Jr. What's the Ambassador version? Why is it That's strange? Why does it say that? Mega Man 4. Lufia the Legend Returns. I've never played this. I don't know if it's good or bad. Mega Man 4. He's still looking a little weird, but he looks like his, his version of 3. The Castlevania Adventure. I've heard that's one of the worst games. Double Dragon. Sonic Drift 2. I didn't know there was a 1. I don't even know. What, what is this? Let's look at this. Why does Sonic need a car? Like, isn't he fast enough? Oh, so it's like a rad racer looking thing? I gotta say, the Game Gear has some good graphics. Maybe not there, but uh, some other stuff. Mega Man 5, he's looking a little cuter now. Looks like he has some allergies though. Blaster Master, oh, that's another game that I could play that's kind of like Ninja Gaiden. Where I always meant to finish it, legit, but I never did. It's just so hard, but so it's such a good game. Maybe I'll do a Blaster Master NBA Finals or something. Okay, Harvest Moon 2, Double Dragon 2, Game & Watch Gallery 2, Adventure Island 2, Everything 2, Kirby's Pinball Land. Life Force, oh, that's a great game. Tales Adventure, Kirby's Block Ball, I don't know, is that like Arkanoid? Mega Man 3, oh that's a cool action shot. Gargoyles, Gargoyles Quest 2, I never played any of those. The Super NES one looks really good. Um, Kid Icarus of Myths and Monsters, I played this on Game Boy back when it came out. And I don't remember much about it, so I should try that again. Super Dodgeball, hi! I'm sold on that because of hi. And, uh, Ninja Gaiden 2, sadly we didn't get to do Ninja Gaiden 2 Super Bowl the other day, because I was too sick. So I don't know what we're going to do about that, but definitely, I need to do some more programming for it anyway, but yeah, I really want to play this someday. Balloon Fight. A lot of people like it, but it's never really interested me too much. Um, let's see, so we're on, uh, what page are we on? We're on page four. We're almost through them all. Mighty Final Fight. Is this the one? They're like all cute and deformed. Looks like it. Um, oh, Mysterious Murasame Castle. This is like, it used to be a Japanese only thing. I wonder if they had to translate anything in this game now. I should totally get it, just to find out. Okay, Ninja Gaiden 3. I did play like a, well, his arm looks weird there. I did play a little bit of this, and I was kind of disappointed right off the bat, because it was, uh, it took the fun out of it. You're suddenly in a laboratory with aliens, and mutants, and it took the uh, real lifeness out of it. Adventures of Lolo. It was a good game, I enjoyed that. Mace is loaded. Mega Man for uh, Game Boy. The Game Boy one's kind of confusing because they mix the bosses around and stuff. Yoshi. Kirby's Star Stacker. What is that? Is that Game Boy? Wrecking Crew. I was never uh, very fond of this, and then for NES Remix, there's a whole bunch of challenges related to it, and even then I didn't enjoy it that much. Rayman. Um, this is Rekka, I think? Yeah, Rekka. Heard great things about this, never played it, but I should try it. Ice Climber, same thing with NES Remix. Dragon Crystal, ooh, now I'm finding stuff I've never heard of before. For Game Gear. So I'm not seeing any, uh, obviously there's no Super NES stuff apparently, and uh, I don't see any Genesis stuff, or I don't see any, uh, like, TurboGrafx stuff in here. 
enemy lost one point. Ooh, I'm sort of liking this. I like this old stuff. I'm an old guy. I'm confused by this though. Is it his hand? Is his hand right? I don't know. Something about this picture is confusing me. Donkey Kong 3. Defenders of Oasis. That looks kind of cool. Although, I don't know. That guy looks a little crazy. Uh, let's see. What kind of game is this? Wow. Looks pretty cool for... Huh. Let me know how that is, you guys. The Mystical Ninja starring going on for Game Boy? I didn't know this was on Game Boy at all. I think my first time ever encountering uh, this series was the Super NES game. They were really pushing it hard and had all kinds of mini games like you could play, stuff in the arcade games. And I really loved the 64 game, Nintendo 64 version. I don't know. And then, um, Sword of Hope 2. That sounds familiar. Revenge of the Gator. Now we're getting to the weird stuff that's not such high tier level stuff. NES Open. Something about this picture is messed up too, like he's twisted in a weird way that he shouldn't be. Legend of the River King for Game Boy Color. For the longest time I thought this, these games had never been released in English. So, I guess it had been. Mole Mania. Sky Kid. Crystal Warriors. I don't know anything about all these, like, Game Boy or Game Gear games. This looks a little bit like a, like a Fire Emblem game. Looks like a silly... I, I could do graphics like this. Wow. It really would have been a lot of fun back in the day. Bionic Commando Elite Forces. Wait, this is a virtual console game? I, thought, I didn't know they made any more like that. I think I remember they did one for Game Boy. I always had a hard time playing the NES version. I got really disappointed because you can't jump. That was kind of cool. Oops. Okay. Then Street Fighter 2010. I guess we're on the last page. The Legend of the River King 2. Oh, they did that again. There was a Game Boy Color also. Yep. Vampire Master of Darkness. For some reason, this reminds me of a, a Atari Lynx game. But I'm not sure why. What does this look like? Is this like a Castlevania game? I don't quite understand it. I guess it's just a side scrolling attack the things game. Okay, I'll go back. Um, columns. I never really played that, but I remember back in the day, Sega was really trying to push this as a the uh, game to get the Game Gear for. They're like, Game Boy might have Tetris, but we have columns. Sonic Labyrinth. I've never heard of that one. I wonder what that's like. Shinobi. That's disturbing. That snake guy has a mustache. Solomon's Key. I have that on the Wii Virtual Console. I don't remember much about it. Shadow of the Ninja. I think it's like a. I think they repurposed one of these games for Ninja Gaiden for Game Boy or something like that. Extreme Sports. They're spelling it extreme again. Wait, what is this Game Boy Color? Mylan Secret Castle. Scat. Special Cybernetic Attack Team. Oreos Woods. The um, head localizer for Earthbound actually worked on this before Earthbound. Mock Rider, I was never a big fan of that. Did we get that in, in North America? No, I can't remember. Star Soldier, this is a, a lot of Japanese people have fond memories of this game. For for me, it's just a, another NES shooter game. Mighty Bomb Jack. 
G Lock Air Battle for Game Gear. Just like a Top Gun. Looks a little bit like it, yeah. Cuckoo Band, Renegade, Crash and the Boy Street Challenge, Spelunker. Kevin Chai loves this game, and it's very popular among Japanese retro game enthusiasts. I've played just a few minutes of it, and it's pretty fun. I'm gonna try to get into it sometime. Toki Tori. I think we have this on Famicom. Or maybe, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe I'm thinking of Flappy. Tumble Pop, what the heck is this crap? This thing looks crazy. I bet it's not as awesome as that box art looks. Whoa, it actually does look pretty crazy. Wow. I might have to try this. And it looks like the last one, the City Connection. So there we go, that's the uh, uh, North American 3DS Virtual Console list as of uh, what day is today? Today is February 19th, uh, 2016. Alright, so we got that. Let's put this one in. Alright. So here we go, this is the uh, Japanese 3DS eShop. Go to uh, Virtual Console, which is somewhere over here. Here we go. Oh, this one has 10 pages, wow. Alright, so... Since these aren't in English, I might have a harder time uh, translating them. Here we go, here's Pocket Monsters Pikachu. So this is the uh, Pikachu edition of Pokemon. Uh, here's Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Green. Oh, that's right, they have three versions. Pokemon Red. Yeah, Pokemon Card GB. Here's Donkey Kong. Uh, this one, I guess it has Donkey Kong and Dixie Kong. Or Dinky Kong and Dixie Kong. Shadowgate. Yes, I really, really, really mean to play this in Japanese sometime because apparently it's known as one of the worst uh, one of the crappiest games, crappiest retro games in Japan, because the, the translation was just done really oddly. Um, I definitely want to write some articles about that on Legends of Localization someday. Uh, Final Fantasy 3. Donkey Kong Land. Adventures of Lolo. Donkey Kong. Super Donkey Kong GB. Donkey Kong uh, Country is known as Super Donkey Kong over there. Uh, Super Deformed Gundam World, Scramble Wars, Elevator Action, this is Red Army War 2, Street Fighter 2010, Alien Crush, R-Type. Um, oh, they have, they have different uh, systems. This one is for PC Engine. I wasn't looking at these. Here's Famicom. Here's um, Bio Miracle Bohute Upa. I know I've seen a Game Center CX of this one. I remember it's a pretty cool game. Final Fantasy II. King King's Knight. I remember this is like one of Square's first games. Mighty Final Fight. This is the Legend of Kage. For the longest time I used to call it the Legend of Cage. Shining Force Final, Final Conflict for Game Gear. I kind of like the way that they're presenting this. Like, um, we got these like, like old retro TVs. Where you got the Game Gear systems, and then you can actually see the system. That's pretty cool. Um, so we got the Frontline. I don't know what kind of game this is. It's for the Famicom. Uh, going on two. I have some attachment to that. It was one of like the first things I translated back in the day. I translated like a Japanese Going on two site for Going on American Going on fans. Um, next page. Let's see, we got 
A Puyo Puyo 2 for Game Gear. I, I once fan translated the Super NES version of that, Super Famicom version of that, Super Puyo Puyo 2. A Rockman X2. The, the Kung Fu. I don't, I'm unfamiliar with this game. It's by Hudson. Since I'm unfamiliar, let's take a look. Oh man, if there's 10 pages of these, maybe we shouldn't take a look at everything though. <laughs> it's pretty cool, wow. Okay. My date up there is totally wrong. It is not March 11th. I think it was probably when I was doing my uh, date and time cheating for to get um, coins and stuff, or what is it, or Yokai Watch. So I always pronounce this Gradius, but it's Gradius. Oh, oops, I went backwards. That'll teach me to say it wrong. Can I go back? No. I gotta scroll through them again. Man, make sure to make this easy to navigate. This isn't for the Famicom, so that's cool. It's a different one. Alright, Final Fantasy for Famicom. That's a cool picture to use. Yoshi's panel something. Uh, Sonic for Game Gear. Rockman X. Star. Star Uster. Seems to be what it's saying, but I'm not familiar with that. Here's another uh, Puzzle Puyo. Check and pop. Hmm. Never heard of that one. Oh, this is the um, Megami Tensei. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Children. The black book. Here's the red book. Shining Force Gaiden 2. Rockman World 5. Hanjuku Hero for the Famicom. I never played, never played that series, but I hear it's really funny. Um, Puzzle Puyo 2. Rockman World 2, 4, Bubble Bobble. Wow, we didn't even have that on uh, the North American one. That's a classic that should be on there. I guess it's a rights thing, isn't it? Must be some kind of weird companies. Maybe rights to different games have changed over the years. Rockman World 3. This is the Mystery of Atlantis. It's a, a classic bad retro game. Shining Force Gaiden 1. Rockman World 2. This is just Puzzle Puyo. This is that, um, was it like the 53 stations? Let's see, we got Joy Mecha Fight. I've heard great things about this. Never played it myself. Come on. So the uh, never how, never sure how to say it quite right. Like Valkyrie Adventure, Valkyrie Mappy Antarctic Adventure. Wow, that's that's a tile screen. So is that Binary Land? It's one of those um, Neketsu games, those Kunio Kun sort of games. Battle City. I think I might have this on the actual card. Heverike. I think we played this on stream one time. Mock Rider again. Nuts and Milk, it's another old classic. Esper Dream, I'm unfamiliar with this one. Let's take a look real quick. Uh, in Japanese, I don't know about English or anything, but in Japanese, Esper is this somebody who has ESP or has powers and stuff like that. So, you know, ESP-er. So that's where the word Esper um, comes from, at least in Japanese. And I guess that's how uh, in Final Fantasy VI the word Esper got, got used. Bit. Reminds me a little bit of like a the overhead part of Blaster Master. At least this part does. Yep. It's so, um, an action RPG. Yeah, one of those Kunio Kun games. This one is like the um, like a 
like samurai era one that looks like here's that Murasami castle Mario Tennis GB that one actually has a racket ER Kung Fu that's not on ours here's a sumo game I kind of always wanted to do a fan translation of some sort of sumo game just to see what it's like see what uh, challenges there would be in that so it's such a very, very Japanese thing. Everything's displayed very Japanese. Haha, <laughs> he's very happy. How much money do I have on my account? Zero? That's too bad. Kluku land. Well, this tile screen, I don't recognize it. Here's another um, Neketsu game. Here's a Gombore Goemon Gaiden. There's a lot of those. I'll have to try those out. Here's a... Uh, like one of those like um, old Japanese fairy tale games. Warriors Woods, Double Dragon Two, right? Yeah, Galaga. Here's a uh, the Kunio Kun Soccer a baseball game. There's so many Japanese baseball games that I don't know what they equate to in the NES NES lineup. This one is Radius. This one's for the, for the Famicom. Huh, so you have, you have a choice. You can choose which one you want. Mario Brothers. Here's um, Famicom Detective Club Part 2. This is the uh, Famicom Disk System version, not the um, Super Famicom version. I always meant, to, I never played the first one. I should play the first one and see how it is. Field of Combat. Definitely have this game in my Famicom collection. Oh, here we go. I should get this. Um, this is Famicom Detective Club, number one. Adventure Island 2. Devil World. I was never a big fan of Devil World. Sky Kid. Lipple Island. I'm unfamiliar with that. Tales Adventures. Is that a... I guess that's a Sonic game. Fire Emblem Gaiden. It's from 1991. Here's a... Like, I guess this might be one of the first Kunio Kun games. Donkey Kong 3. So Dracula 2, it's not called Castlevania 2, or Demon Castle 2, it's called Dracula 2. Sugoro Quest, like the, the uh, Warriors of the Dice. Dragon Buster, Challenger, another uh, Go Goemon game, Dodgeball, one of the Oracles games, another Oracle game. This is one of those ninja games, I believe. I think I saw it on Game Center CX one time. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Very... Oh! I don't remember. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I don't remember, like, a first-person thing like this. Reminds me a little bit of Contra. is a life force or it's known as salamander in Japanese. Iki, it's another classic old Japanese game. Makaimura or Ghost and Goblins. Alright, we're going to page five. We're not even halfway through. This is on 3DS. I assume that like the Wii U has a whole lot more. Maybe the Wii has a lot more. Double Dragon. This is Ariel's Crystal, Ariel Crystal Gaiden. Oh, Densetsu, not Gaiden. It's a legend of. Oops, I didn't mean to go to it. Madula, the Wing of Madula, I think. I saw that in Game Center CX. Here's Puyo Puyo, the first one. Here's um, another Neketsu Kunio Kun sort of game. It's a city connection, it looks different, tile screen. Metal Max, Pinball, and these 66 Alligators, Super Mario 3, wow, they stuck Mario 3 way back here. So I guess while the Japanese one has a whole lot more games, the North American one, they were much more careful of the ordering, so they, they would put the most bought things first, or the most wantable things first. 
What was that? Um, Royal and Secret Castle. Spelunker. Tower of Draga. It's a classic. Rockman 6. Rekka. Solomon's Key. Mario USA. That's what we call Mario 2 here. Should really do some kind of comparison book thing with our Mario 2, this Mario USA, and then Doki Doki Panic all. Man, that'd be a lot of work, but I think it'd be really interesting too. Maybe even talk to the people who decided to bring that out instead of the original Mario 2. Okay, here's um, another downtown Neketsu Monogatari. Pac-Man. Star Soldier. Sonic Drift 2. So whatever, where's Sonic Drift 1? Rockman 5. Some kind of mole game. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I wonder how those compare to the Genesis ones. Here's a Ninja Jaja Marukun. Alright, now we're halfway through. Man, this is a long video. It's already half an hour. Congratulations if you made it this far. I was thinking it was going to be a 10 minute video. <laughs> Alright, Mario, or just Picross 2. Donkey Kong, and here's a Castlevania 1, Rockman 4, here's Super Contra, Super C, Mario Golf GB. Wow, that's some epic looking stuff. Like you have some kind of epic quest you have to go on there. Dig Dug, Mighty Bomb Jack, huh. G Lock Air Battle, Rockman 3, Wrecking Crew. This is a Princess Tomato in the Salon Kingdom. Last Bible 2, I'm gonna assume, yeah, this is Megami Tensei Gaiden, Last Bible 2. Oh, this is that for the frog, the bell tolls or something like that? I should probably try this in Japanese. Uh, Meta Fight. Kirby's Pinball. Uh, here's Ninja Gaiden, but it's called Ninja Ryuken Den in Japanese. Balloon Fight. Yoshi's Egg. Does that just call the Yoshi in North America? I'm so confused by that. And the Yoshi's cookie comes out, and there's just Yoshi. Mario Open Golf. Who are these girls? Rockman 2. Kunio. Columns. Fire Emblem. So I assume this is the very first one. I've really been wanting to play a Fire Emblem game on my 3DS or something like that. Like an early one. Um, I, I'm assuming from the tile screen this is the first one. I should probably get it. Naketsu Soccer. Here's Rayman. Shadow Crusader. Never heard of that one. Oh wait, that, that looks a lot like, um, I did see that in the North American one, but it was called something else. Rockman. Bomberman GB3. I don't see any Bomberman games on the North American one. Those would have been cool. Ice Climber. Is it called Ice Climber or Ice Climbers in North America? In the Wake of Vampire. theory that it's going to be just that same one that we saw. Like, like a side-scroller. Yep, it is. Cool. In the Wake of Vampire. I already figured out what it was called in North America. Let's continue. A Goemon game. Maybe tomorrow was kidnapped. Twin B. That's not even on that one. Selection 2. That's... Is this Sword of Hope 2? Oh, Adventure of Link. Wow. Shoved way back in the back of uh, page 7. Koto Battle. I don't know what this is. Oh, Koto. I see. So it's kind of some kind of 
word battle. Um, Kirby, Sonic Labyrinth. Ketsu. Oh, here's Royal Land 3. That looks pretty cool. Oh, here's Last Bible again. Donkey Kong Jr. G Sonic. So many Sonic games. Like, Sonic games and Pokemon games. There's so many that I don't know anything about them. There's just so many. Tumble Pop. That's the one that looked really cool. That looks stupid here. Royal Land 2. Is this Game Boy Gallery 2? Wait, what is Game Boy Gallery? Is it Game Boy Game & Watch? Did I misread it? It's Game Boy Gallery 2. Yeah, it looks like Game & Watch, yeah. I guess I just named it something different, possibly. Sonic & Tails. Man, Tails is looking a little strange there. Let's go to page 8. This one looks to be... Dragon Crystal... Tsurani, this is a labyrinth, dragon crystal. I think we saw that in North American. The GG Shinobi, what the heck? Dracula, Goemon, Metroid. Metroid's way back here. And Metroid was a, uh, this system game, as you can see. That'd be a cool little thing I could write. Maybe we can write a book about Metroid. Quarth. Kirby 2. Kid Icarus. So this, is, this makes me wonder if it was developed first for North American audiences or just foreign audiences and then, and then released in Japan too. Seems strange. Because it has a totally different name in Japan, the Kid Icarus games. Punch Out. That is, uh... Oops, so not being Mike Tyson. Yeah, with the two numbers there, yeah. Alright. A beach volleyball, Kunio Kun. Here's, um, Jaja Maru World Adventure. This is like the, uh, some kind of Fortress 2, like Anger Fortress 2. Super Mario, look, Super Mario Brothers on page 8, you guys. <laughs> in Zelda 1. In Wario Land. Selection. The Chosen One. Trip World. Wow, that's, that's kind of cool. These load times. Okay. Oh, is this like, um... Where you like evolve and stuff? Reminds me a bit of a retro game crunch. Fight EX. Bionic Commando. This is the Bionic Commando for Game Boy I was thinking of. Here's another Kunio game. Lock and Chase. That sounds familiar. Kirby's Block Ball. Balloon Fight GB. Six Golden Coins. Love that game so much. Radar Mission. I think it'd be cool if, like, Mario Maker... They started uh, supporting um, Super Mario Land 2 looking stuff. Metroid 2 Return of Samus. Mario's Picross, Burger Time Deluxe. Wow, we don't even have that side. Where's the pocket? The Zoids. The Glory of Hercules, of Glory of Heracles, whichever you prefer. Card Hero. Dodgeball. Alleyway. Dr. Mario. Did we even have a Dr. Mario North American one? I guess maybe we did. Pitman. Tennis. Ooh, tennis for Game Boy. I loved it. There's this trick you can do where you serve, but you miss. Miss your serve and just let your ball hit you. You'll still score, even though, like, you should be have, should have missed up. And uh, you can get all kinds of points. You can beat the game really easily doing that. You can even do it when you're playing against a second player. And people think you're really stupid, but they don't notice that you're winning the entire time. So there's, there's your tip for the day. Your power moment of the day. Adventure Island 2. I didn't know Adventure Islands were even on the Game Boy. Pac-Man. Um, Makai Mura Gaiden, Red Armor. Um, golf. Another, another 
another Game Boy Gallery. Well, I've never seen that sprite before. It's an interesting looking sprite. Double Dragon. I didn't know that was on Game Boy. Kicks, I believe. It. Quicks. Oh man, I was saying kicks all this time in my life. Now I see the Japanese. It's supposed to be quicks. Ooh, this is one of the best games. Donkey Kong for Game Boy. But if it's not the uh, Super Game Boy version, then it's not worth it, I feel. It's such a good game. And I feel that like the Mario Minis, March of the Mini Games, they don't compare. Oh, here's that Anger Fortress one. Oh, wow, so much color. This is the Link's Awakening for Game Boy Color, Super Mario Land, Phantasm. Wow, Phantasm game. I bet it's not based on the game, or based on the movie. I should make a game based on the movie. Oh, that's definitely not. Definitely not. <laughs> oh, here's Kirby. Okay, I guess we're on the last page. Here we have baseball. Um, the uh, samurai version of the Kunio Goon games. Oh, Rockman World's the last one. Hooray. Whew, so that's all of the virtual console games on the Japanese 3DS and also on the North American 3DS as of February 19th, 2016. So I'm sure there's going to be more and more, but it sounds like um, for like the longest time, for years and years, the North American virtual consoles has been sort of neglected. Well, Japanese Japanese gamers get you know they're lucky and they get all kinds of games all the time. I wonder how the Wii U versions fare. I have the Japanese and American Wii U, so I can check those out sometime in the future. I don't know how the how the Wii Virtual Consoles are. I hear the same thing might have happened too, but I don't have a Japanese Wii. Well, I do have the Wii and the Japanese Wii U, so maybe I can check that out sometime. I don't know why it's so interesting, but. This is cool somehow. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you made it this far, congratulations. You can have uh, 22 tomato points, if we even care about tomato points anymore. Goodbye.